curves are one of the most powerful ways to adjust the tonality and the color of your image in Photoshop. They also tend to be kind of intimidating. Something about wrangling a diagonal line to yield a proper exposure just isn't very intuitive. I want to show you some really friendly, approachable ways to use curves in your workflow. The first place we'll look at curves is in Camera Raw. And we can just double click on one of our raw files and that'll open Camera Raw. Now remember, if you have a JPEG or TIFF that you want to open into Camera Raw, just go into your file preferences, Camera Raw, and change that to open JPEGs or TIFFs in Camera Raw. In Photoshop CC, you could just go into the Camera Raw filter. So here in Camera Raw, I've got a lot of different choices and I have a curves area. And I know this looks a little bit intimidating, but it doesn't need to be. I can just grab these sliders, brighten the highlights, darken the shadows, and in doing that, I see that I create what we call an S-shaped curve. Now, if I want to reset these values, I could double click on the slider, or I could use my Option or Alt key, which will turn the Cancel button into a Reset button, and it'll reset the whole dialog. Now, one of the tricks I can do here is I can grab these little pointers at the bottom of my histogram. My histogram is just a graphical representation of where the highlights and the shadows are. And by pulling those over to the far edges, you'll see that the highlight slider now controls the extreme part of the highlights, uh, just that one far edge of the histogram. Same thing with shadows. It's only going to affect the darkest values in my histogram. So I can get a little bit more precision than you would think there. So I'm going to reset this again and show you one of my favorite ways to do curves in Camera Raw, which is using the targeted adjustment tool. And the way that this works is I just click on the area of the image that I want to adjust, and I lift it. And that lifts the curve in that area. So if I want to make the bright part brighter, I lift that up. If I want to make the mid-tone darker, I pull that down. If I want to make the darkest shadows brighter, I click on that and pull that up. Really intuitive, really easy to use, and as it turns out, you can do a lot of those same things over in Photoshop. Let's take a look. So I'm going to cancel out of this, and we've got an image open in Photoshop. And the first thing I want to cover is a workflow for how you want to do any tonal adjustments. Yes, we could come in here to our image adjustment menu and choose any of these. But what you really want to do is use an adjustment layer. You'll see that same list. The difference is these are non-destructive, they're editable, they can be shared with other files, they can be turned off or on. And we can get to those through the list there, but the easiest way to do that is just right over here in the adjustment panel. So if I click on curves, I'm going to see a very familiar interface here, and I've got a bunch of presets I could use, all sorts of different special effects, contrast, lots of different things. You can save your own there as well. But let's do what we just did in Camera Raw and use this on image control here. If I want the dark area to be brighter, I click on that and lift it. If I want a mid-tone value to be darker, I click on that and pull it down. I can adjust those really easily. I also have a nice auto functionality here that analyzes my histogram and compares that to histograms of professional photographers. So I truly get an adaptive auto. And you'll notice that it gives me points along the curve to play around with. So what I really recommend doing, use the presets, use the on-image control, use auto, and you'll start to learn how curves work. And then you can adjust from there. Now, once you get more proficient with curves, a good place to go is playing around with your blend modes. This is great with any of your adjustment layers because it allows you to come in and adjust how the adjustment layer interacts with the content beneath it. So with any of these, we can play around, and then you can play around with the opacity as well. This is a great way to fine tune your adjustments. So as you see, Curves is really powerful for color and tonal adjustments, and it doesn't need to be scary. It's really quite easy to use.